Well, I definitely wasn't expecting this today. Square Enix dropped more info on us from their Twitter and official website with lots of details about Chapter 2 and 3 of Balan Wonderworld. In this video, we get a peek at the protagonist of each chapter, the boss, what the world is like, and the costumes in each one, so stick around to see all the new info. We've already seen Chapter 1 of Balan Wonderworld called The Man Who Rages Against the Storm. We actually got to see tons of gameplay of Chapter 1 at the Japanese PS5 hands-on event. Click the link at the top of the video now to see my previous Balan Wonderworld video covering all that gameplay. I'm really happy to be talking about chapters 2 and 3 today, but obviously light spoilers ahead on what these chapters are, who the protagonists of them are, and the costumes found in each stage. So if you don't want to be spoiled, this is your warning. Still here? Awesome! Alright, let's get into it. Chapter 2 is called The Dolphin and the Diver. We are introduced to Fiona Demetria, the woman whose heart we are trying to set free. She's described as a diver who loves dolphins and she thought of them as her friends, until it looks like her friend decided to turn on her and caused her to have an accident on a dive. I'll let the short chapter 2 intro sequence play out here for you to see. Chapter 2 is set in a water world, as was teased to us before. It's supposed to reflect the beauty of the ocean as Fiona sees it. Coral and seashells lie scattered inside buildings that look like ancient ruins throughout. In some screenshots, we also see what looks like a sunken pirate ship, some interesting cubes that are probably part of a puzzle, and lots more exploration and platforming fun. The boss of Chapter 2 is Angelica. She will call forth fierce currents and electric jellyfish to keep the player away. Finally, Square Enix revealed the five costumes found in Chapter 2. We've got the Dynamic Dolphin, which is a dolphin costume that swims elegantly through the currents. You can leap powerfully from the currents to move to higher areas. The Jelly Jolt, which is a jellyfish costume that lets you ride the currents. It also lets you attack the Nagati that stand in your way with an electrifying jump. We've got the Telepotter, a mysterious costume that allows you to teleport to distant areas and warp behind walls. We've got the Double Jumper, a nimble little monster costume. When you press the button in midair, you can perform a double jump with it. And we've got the Bubble Blower, a costume of a leaf spirit that floats gently through the air. If you hold down the button, you can ride the bubbles. That's all the new information for Chapter 2. It looks really cool and I can't wait to dive right in. <laughs> yeah, I know, that was bad. Alright, let's move on to what we learned about Chapter 3. Chapter 3 is called The Girl Who's Gaga for Bugs. We'll be trying to save Yuri Brand's heart from the Nagati in Chapter 3. She's described as a girl who loves bugs. Taking advantage of this, her classmates push her into taking care of the bugs that they should be looking after as a class all by herself. This obviously upsets her and allows her to be corrupted by the Nagati. Here's the brief intro clip for Chapter 3. In Chapter 3, we'll be exploring a forest crawling with all kinds of bugs, books, and science equipment, and other items from school will also pop up in the forest. Sticking with the forest theme, we also see mushrooms that can be jumped on to get extra height. The boss of Chapter 3 is Wormsworth. He'll torment the player by flinging praying mantis blades and spider webs at them. We also got a tease of the five costumes in Chapter 3. I'm kind of seeing a pattern here, five in Chapter 1, and in Chapter 2, and in Chapter 3. Could it be that they all have 5 costumes? We've been told there are 12 chapters and 80 costumes total, so if there were 5 in each that would only be 60, so there's either got to be some more or there might be some other way of getting some other costume. So the costumes in chapter 3 are the Dusk Butterfly, which is a butterfly costume that flutters through the air. Once night falls it can fly even further than in the day. The Sickle Slinger, a praying mantis costume that shoots out scythes like boomerangs. 
The flying scythe can attack enemies or move objects in the environment. The web wrangler, a costume of an elusive spider, access those hard to reach places by grabbing onto spider webs and crawling your way up towering heights. The lovely lantern, this Chinese lantern plant costume dangles a lantern like fruit that flickers on and off allowing you to illuminate dark areas. And the itsy bitsy elf, this is a tiny elf costume that looks a little bit like a flying squirrel, it lets you squeeze through tiny doors that you can't normally fit. Phew, that's a lot of information out of nowhere. So far all the costumes look really interesting and it's cool to see how they'll all be used differently throughout the entire game. I'll do a breakdown video on all the costumes that have been revealed so far very soon, so don't forget to subscribe and keep up to date on all my Balan Wonderworld videos. That's all for now. As always, happy gaming.